Well, it is time for the last video of the year. And I'm going to pick a movie that's not Christmas related. I'm going with one of my movies during my childhood years. Cheaper by the Dozen. Of course, it turned 20 and I knew it was going to be the one to pick throughout this year. Yes, this movie did get a Christmas release back in 2003. Come on, I've seen movies that came out on Christmas Day. It's nothing new, guys. Anyways, this was another movie I wanted to do a review for a while, but since it turned 20 years old, it's finally time to do it for the year. The story centers on the Bakers with the couples Tom and Kate and their 12 children who they live in their lives during the country home. But when Tom offers to coach for football, they all decide to move into the city house. Meanwhile, Kate is required to do a national book tour to promote her book and publication. While she's away, Tom has a hard time handling the children. It's not easy with 12 children. The ending I'll save it for later since one of the Baker kids has a pretty difficult time. So when I saw the preview on TV for this movie, I went, this looks kind of fun. I don't know, I like the idea of having a family with 12 kids. Sometimes a family can have 3 to 5 kids, but 12? That's insane. The movie did rank number 10 at the box office that year. Also, this is not original. This is a remake of a movie of the same name back in 1950. And no, I never watched the 1950 movie. There's even an autobiography book of the same name. Taking the remake aside, I should talk about the movie in general. And since I'm older, is it better as I remember? Not really, but it's still sweet overall. Okay, I will say this right now, this movie doesn't get the hate it gets. Heck, this movie came out the same year as The Cat in a Hat. And yeah, I didn't do a 20th anniversary for the video because I hated that movie. Oh, come on! Boo! Boo! It's true, I can't stand that movie. But, Chiba by Dozen doesn't get the hate, even though this movie has a 24% by critics. I can't go that far, guys. Eber and Roper praised it. Eber called it lighthearted fun. And that's what I think of the movie. It's lighthearted fun, and it can be sweet sometimes. Let's get into the characters, which I won't go through all, but I will mention a few, especially the Baker kids. Steve Martin is Tom pretty good. I can't say he's my favorite performance from him since he can be goofy, but I don't know, it's not my favorite from him. My favorite performance from Steve Martin, besides the other ones which I need to see in the future, is playing trains and automobiles. His acting in that movie works perfectly, playing the serious rude man. Still, I like Tom Fine. He's the main role, hence these posters showing the man of the family. Bonnie Hunt plays Kate, and she's about the same as Tom, but more of a voice of reason. Now with the 12 Baker kids, I'll find the ones that are good. As a kid, I love the Baker kids. I just like how they're in the group together. And while sometimes they're not all together, you can tell they're siblings. And while it's there as an adult for me, sometimes they're a bit manipulative. Another thing is, the Baker kids have one note, like Sarah is the prankster, Lorraine is the style guru, and Mark is the black sheep. And while one note characters are not good in some movies, it's not bad here because I used to like these characters. In something like Holes, that worked because the D10 boys are fun and likable and have their own personality. The kids, they kind of have personality, but not much. Oh well, that's one of the criticisms. If I had to pick a Baker's kid that I liked, I guess I have to go with Mark. While he is the black sheep out of them, he had a frog named Beans and by the end, he lost an animal of his where the family had a fight and Mark ran away. I even like others like Nora, Lorraine, and maybe Charlie since I know they share some screen time. Speaking of that, the only one that got shafted the most has to be Mike. After rewatching the movie, I wish Mike got more time to shine compared to the other ones, but at least others like Henry, Jake, Jessica, and Kim did something. I will say the kids casting were great choices, like Hilary Duff and Allison Stoner. That's all I say about the Bakers, both the parents and their kids. There's minor characters like the Shank neighbors, Tom's best friend Shake, and Nora's boyfriend Hank. Yeah, this character I'm not a fan of. 
I mean, I'm not saying Ashton Kutcher is bad in this role, but the character he plays is just not nice. I can understand why Nora can't get along with him, even the Baker kids can't stand him either. But yeah, Hank is probably my least favorite character in the movie. Let's move on to the comedy. I did get a few laughs in this movie. Yeah, not much, but there's some. This one got me a laugh when the bully says, my latte. I chuckle at that. Some of the comedy is hit and miss. Some didn't make me laugh, like Tom flying out of the bounce house and the dog Gunner grabbing Hank's pants. But yeah, I'm very mixed on the comedy in this one. I agree on the critics for the humor, but it's not all bad, you guys. So, what do I like about the movie? Well, like I said, that it's sweet sometimes. At the end of the movie, Mark ran away and the family went searching for him. Tom found Mark and they talked to each other. And this is when I was liking this part a lot. And this is when all the bakers met each other and seeing get together after Tom resigning it. It's very sweet if you ask me. Even the beginning where they showed Tom and Kate having kids and growing up. That's what I like about it. The director of this movie is Sean Levy, which he also directed Big Fat Liar, another movie I've talked about before. In fact, I would put Chiba by a dozen up in the same range as Big Fat Liar. I mentioned in the review that Big Fat Liar is fun, and yes it is. Chiba by a dozen is fun as well. It's not on the same level as some of my guilty pleasure movies, it's not on the same level as some movies that don't age well at all, and even the sequel. That one I really do not like. All in all, I had good memories watching this movie, and it is a sweet movie. Despite some humor and some character issues, it's a good family film. That is all for the review for Cheaper by a Dozen. I want to wish you all a Merry Christmas. I wrapped up the videos for this year, now I can move on to 2024, which means a new year video to work on. I will see you all, and happy holidays.